Hello everyone, uh, Paul here from the Epin Academy. So today I would like to speak about something that uh, most of us tend to confuse and it's a bit costing us either our profits or costing us our setups or even reaching the extent of costing us the capital, right? Now, uh, what is that? So most of us don't understand what type of trading we are doing. Are you doing intraday, right? Are you doing intraday or swing trading, right? Now, these two types of trading have different approaches to them. The rules are the same, but we're going to, you have to switch in a few things, right? What are the few things you have to switch in? The time frames. Your rules are going to be the same. The approach is the same, but the, 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 the time frames are going to be different. And also, when the time frames are different, also your targets are changing and where, you, where you're exiting from are changing. The time frames you're using to refine are different, right? Now, most of us do not want, do not tend to understand that there's that difference there. So it ends up costing us that you enter a trade where you're supposed to be exiting, you want to still hold, right? Now, I'm going to use an example of gold. Now, if you watch the previous video of the analysis of gold, I say that gold broke below this level here. We reacted to this support level. Let me just increase the size of the chart so that we can see properly. Uh, let me just increase the size of the chart here. Here, okay, hope everyone can see. So we had this turning point, which became support and also became support. When we broke down, we said now we're looking for bears, as long as the price does not take out this level here, right? So when price came to retest here, we're looking for selling opportunities so that we can uh, go below this level to go and finish this bear move before we can continue higher because this is a bigger W in the weekly time frame. You can just check that video. That's what we said. So for us to sell from here, up to down here, the market has to change trend in a certain time frame because this is a swing opportunity, right? Another thing that you have to put into uh, your mind or your perspective is that the pips that a swinger is looking out for or looking to utilize or to take is different from the pips uh, uh, a swinger, uh, an intraday trader is looking for is different from the, the, the pips a swinger is looking out for. An intraday you're looking for between 20 to 80 pips, depending on the type of intraday you're doing. What, why do I mean, what do I mean by types of intraday? Within intraday, or the types of day trading, intraday is the, types of, is the type of day trading. Now, under day trading, we have scalpers and we have intraday traders. Intraday, you can hold trades within the day. But we have also scalpers. Scalpers hold trades for a few minutes. They don't, they don't want to go beyond an hour being uh, uh, in, in a trade, right? So those are the two categories of day traders we have. Day traders, we have two types of traders. We have scalpers and intraday, right? And then in swing trading, we have people holding trades for a few days or weeks or, or one day and a half and the rest. Maybe a few days, weeks. Some women can hold up to a month, right? That's the different type of swing trading traders we have. Now, you need to know how to differentiate. I'm, I'm going to give an example. The market here, the type of change of trend it made was not for, it was not sufficient for us to hold our trade up to down here. And that's evident when you come to, to the entry time. And this is daily. So let's just go down to, uh, let's just go down to, uh, let's just go down to, to, Let's just go down to the H4 time frame, right? Well, now, when you load your H4 time frame, you will notice here, this is where it happened. You will notice that when the price touched here, right? The type of change of trend that happened here was for intraday traders. Are you getting this? Because we have a market that has created a high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So it's intraday traders who are trading within levels like this, right? These pullbacks are traded for by intraday traders or scalpers. Right, so this this type of trade is supposed to be a day trade. So you cannot enter a trade here, or you cannot look for a change of trend. Let's say minute fifteen or minute five here, or even H one, and you want to hold a trade up to down there. It does not make sense. Are you looking at the, the difference in pips? Right, the difference in pips here is 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 is, is what is uh, taking you out. You don't understand that. If I'm to want to hold a trade for this distance, I, minute five cannot push this. Let me give you an example. It's just like a, a kid who is who is five years old uh, carrying, let's say, 100 kilograms on, on his back or her back, right? It doesn't make sense. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to make five minutes carry a lot of pips or to push a bigger distance. That's what most of us are doing, right? So uh, this, this change of trend here that happened here, right, was for intraday. You just trade up to this hidden structure. There's a hidden structure here that most of us did not see. 
most of you did not see. So again, from here, you can trade the continuation. But of course, personally, I did not trade the continuation upwards. Why? Because my structure is bearish. Now, my structure has just become bullish right now. Why? Because we said it should not break above this area. When the price breaks above this area here, we mentioned it. Let me just go back to the delay time frame. Is when we say that we shall become bullish. So before my structure was not bullish, but right now it is bullish. And you can clearly see that we are having rules of, we have this W, and then we have an impulse. Why an impulse? Because of broken this turning point and also we broke this turning point. So we want a pullback, which the market is doing, and then we can finish that move there. The same way we spoke about. So you need to know what type of trading you're doing, and you need to be able to differentiate. That is one. And secondly, let me just remind you guys of the time frames. We say that, according to what we recommended, Intraday start for your structures in daily, you're going to take your entry in H1, meaning that in H1, you can get a change of trend and then you can refine in minute 15 or minute 30, right? This is what we say. Then swingers, we're getting weekly, our entry or what you're going to look for change of trend is in H4, then you can refine in H1, right? Refining in H1. Are getting it? That's the difference. These are the differences. But also, uh, intraday, we can go further or we can decide to reduce and we say that. Uh, you can use H4 for your structure, then you go back down to minute 30. Uh, then you can start re also taking refining minute 15 and minute 5. Are you getting it? This is what we spoke about Are we together. So uh, do not uh, try to confuse these two, right? Uh, of you want to you want to a change of training minute five to take a trade to a certain target, right? You need to make sure that the target is correlating with the number of pips you're looking out for. Now, also one thing that I want to remind you guys is if you can observe here, I'm using uh, the chart of fast bull, very, very convenient and very nice. It has uh, very easy tools to use. And also you can see here traders are chatting. You can check the chat room here. You can get ideas from there. Uh, you can see people sharing their, uh, their views of what is happening. In case it is the part of what you want to trade, you can be able to compare it. And then also we have spoken about the signals, but now uh, there's something new that I've seen that is very good besides the, the AI signals, which also you need to compare with what you're trading. Another thing that I've seen is the copy trading part. Uh, you can try to uh, copy the, the people who have high win rates. You can read out the blogs, right? And then you can... Uh, you can you can try to utilize or compare with your setup that you do have right so you can see for example here you have you can see this person's win rate is this you can, if you want to copy you can copy his or her trade right you can do your due diligence check the drawdown uh, the p uh, the profit and loss ratio the win rate and check if anything uh it's it's aligning with you you can try to copy their trades right there are very many traders that you can check out here this one is having negative 14 percent you can check them out right they, they are organized from uh uh top the top performing or the, the ones with the high return rates to the to the list eh? you can check there then also um uh you can check out the the news that is coming out you can uh you can check the news that you, is going to 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 impact the the fundamentals for example uh we saw that gold was going to push up from first bull here we saw that uh, there was a war coming up whenever there is war uh you would like to to, to favor gold because gold uh is where people keep their money it's where people run for refuge right so make sure you check out first bull the link is going to be in the description and also the pinned comment and you can download on the phone and also uh you can use it just on the web like i'm using right so that is it i hope this makes sense now for those who trade gold uh i'm just waiting for a pullback which is already happening so and then we, we are going to be targeting this high here just for a short term uh, movement, right? Not very long, but uh, because, because there's war and also the structure is favoring us, we have the big W and the small W plus an impulsive movement. What we just want is a pullback and what will be remaining is the change of trend. Now, in this case here, since we're above this higher time frame structure, the next structure that we have is just this one here, right? So you can just target this high here, this high area, which is... Uh, just above there, there's nothing that is hidden here. There's no hidden structure. In case there was a hidden structure, of course, also it will be considering. So intraday, uh, intraday traders, always your first target should be something that is not very far. This can be your first target. And then uh, the, the one above, uh, the ones who want to hold trades longer can be able to utilize it, right? So that is it. Uh, this is what I'm watching out today on gold. 
and also uh, if it matches your analysis you can be able to utilize it have a great day i hope you've gotten value out of it